Illustrator has a wide variety of tools and various methods to choose from when creating vector artwork. With the document set up, we'll start our logo by creating a slice of pizza using shapes. Before you start, choose View and make sure there's a check mark next to Smart Guides. If not, choose it. Smart Guides will help us to be more precise when we draw and edit our artwork. Let's start by drawing a rectangle, which will become the pizza crust. Select the Rectangle tool in the Tools panel. Click and drag to draw a rectangle to the right of the image. Try to make it match the sizing in that reference image and know that we can always resize it later. In the rectangle, you'll see a corner radius widget in each corner, this little circle. Drag one of them toward the center to round the corners of the crust. Now we'll finish the slice of pizza. Click and hold down on the rectangle tool and you'll see a variety of drawing tools. Select the polygon tool. Bring the pointer below the rectangle. Click and drag to create a shape. As you drag, press the shift key to constrain it. Drag until your shape is roughly this size, then release the mouse button and then the key. Most shapes you draw are considered to be live, which means you can edit them easily after the fact without switching tools. Drag this little widget to change the number of sides on the shape. Drag until you see three. Position the pointer off a corner, and when you see this rotate arrow, press the shift key and drag around clockwise so that the triangle looks something like this. Release the mouse button and then the shift key. To resize the triangle, drag the resize widget here. Look at the pizza crust, the rectangle above, and make sure it looks something like this. Move the pointer into the center of the triangle and drag it so that it overlaps the bottom of the rectangle a bit. You'll see magenta lines showing, which are part of Smart Guides, to help you align content. Make sure it's aligned with the center of the rectangle. Choose Object, Arrange, Send to Back to put the triangle behind the rectangle. Next, you'll reshape the pizza slice a bit. After drawing shapes, you can easily edit them further. Select the Direct Selection tool, Come to the bottom corner of the triangle and click the point to select it, then release the mouse button. Shapes in Illustrator are made of anchor points and paths, which are completely editable. Click and drag the point down a bit, but make sure it stays aligned with the center. The magenta guide helps. Now we'll add some favorite toppings to the pizza using a variety of other shapes. So let's start with some bell pepper. Select the zoom tool in the tools panel and click the top of the pizza slice once to zoom in. Click and hold down on the Polygon tool in the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool again. Drag to create a new rectangle that's about this big. This will be our pepper. Now you'll create some pepperoni. Click and hold down on the Rectangle tool and select the Ellipse tool. In the document, away from the other artwork, drag to make a circle. Make sure you see these crosshairs, which means it's a true circle. Then release the mouse button when it's about this big. To create an olive, we'll copy the pepperoni shape. With the circle still selected, hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and drag from the center of the shape off the right edge of the artboard over here in the gray area. Choose Edit, Copy, then choose Edit, Paste in front to paste a copy of the circle right on top of the original. Drag the radius widget in toward the center to make it smaller. Select the Selection tool in the Tools panel and drag across both shapes to select them. Press and hold the Shift key and drag a corner towards the center of the shape to make it a little bit smaller. Release the mouse button and then the key. Next, we'll use the smaller circle to create a hole in the larger circle. The Shape Builder tool over here in the Tools panel lets you intuitively combine, edit, and change the color of shapes. Select the Shape Builder tool. Option click on Mac or Alt click on Windows, the center circle shape to remove the center of the olive. You can see the gray color of the background through the middle now. That's why we did it over here. Select the selection tool again and drag the olive shape next to the other toppings. So far we've been drawing shapes, but we need to create a mushroom shape, which is more freeform. Using the curvature tool, you can easily create freeform paths and shapes. Come over to the tools panel and select the curvature tool. With this tool, we click to set points and create a path. Click to set the first point. Move the pointer up here and click, then move it away again. You'll see a curve. Click to add a few more points and make the top of the mushroom. When you get down here, we need to make sure this last point is a corner 
not smooth like this. Double click this point to change it. You can also create corner points by pressing a key before you click. Press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and click a few more times to make corner points, then release the key. Position the pointer over the original point and click to close the path. You can always go back to this shape and edit it by dragging points, adding points or deleting them, or changing them from curve to corner points and back. To save the file, choose File, Save. In Illustrator, there are a lot of ways to create the artwork you want, from basic shapes to complex paths. We now have the artwork we need to make the pizza logo. We can now take it a few steps further by coloring and assembling the pieces.